Cajuns, Acadians, Acadians. They were the descendants of the first European settlers in an area called L'Acadie, which is today Eastern Canada. Quebec, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Cape Breton, all that. Now in the late 1600s, early 1700s, the Acadians found themselves caught in between two colonial empires in New England and New France. When the Acadians refused to sign an oath of allegiance to fight for the British king, New England and British regular troops would embark on what is known as the first recorded ethnic cleansing of people in North America. Between 1755 and 1785, half of the total Acadian population were killed by starvation, drowning, and violence. And during this forced relocation, thousands of Acadians made their way into Spanish Louisiana, and it was capped off in 1785 when Spanish King Carlos III sponsored seven ships to take thousands of Acadians to Louisiana, with nearly all of them settling in the Bayou Lafourche area, reuniting families and thus ending the decades long trauma. Over the intervening years, Acadians have left an invaluable mark on not only a Louisiana culture, but American culture. Despite having been separated from their original North American homeland for centuries, Acadian identity has remained alive along Bayou Lafourche and the prairies west of the Atchafalaya Basin. Withstanding cultural genocide, loss of the French language, hurricanes, civil war, oil spills, Bobby Jindal, and everything in between, Acadians are still here, making them a worldwide example of cultural resilience. <laughs>